Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am currently um, majorly regretting the decision to wear this big fluffy dressing gown in this video. Um, it's brand new, I bought it yesterday and I'm so in love with it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wear it to film. I'm sweating, I'm literally so hot, these lights are boiling and I was already really hot anyway because my house is just really warm um, so yeah currently melting a little bit um, but today's video is going to be a makeup video um, as you can tell I haven't got any makeup on I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and it's going to be slightly different to my usual makeup tutorial um, obviously I'm going to be doing like my current everyday makeup routine but then I'm also going to be doing my hair in the video as well I just thought switch things up a little bit um, and instead of just sticking to makeup I thought I would pop a little hair tutorial in there as well a lot of you guys have been asking me recently how I've been doing my hair so I thought that I would pop it in this video to let you guys know um, so yeah I'm just gonna jump straight in and show you guys the makeup routine that I've basically been doing every single day at the moment um, so yeah I really hope that you enjoy the video so I'm gonna start off with um, a brand new product and this is from Mac and it's the Mac prep and prime essential oils stick looks like this you just pop the lid off and then you've got this little stick which is basically made of essential oils and I literally just take that and pop it down my t-zone and then I put a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones and you can't really see the product um, but it's just really really nice if you've got quite dry or dehydrated skin um, it's just a nice little step to add into your routine and this can be used for so many different things I really like to use it under my makeup but if I'm having a bit of a natural makeup day I like to pop this on top of my makeup as well just as a bit of a highlight um, but yeah it's a really lovely product it smells amazing and yeah it just leaves my skin feeling really soft and it does also act a little bit like a hydrating primer or a moisturizing primer so if you've got dry skin and you do find that your makeup um, tends to go a little bit dry and flaky throughout the day because of your dry skin definitely give that product a go because it just keeps your skin really moisturized underneath the makeup um, I'm then going to go in with a proper primer I'm using the Laura Mercier foundation primer this is the radiance one um, I just take a little bit onto the back of my hand and then just rub that in like a moisturizer you guys know that I love this product so much um, I had a tester of it a while ago and I used it all up so now I've got the big tube and it's probably one of my all time favourite primers. I just think it does what a primer should do and it just works with my skin really well. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on your skin so it's really lightweight um, but it just gives me that really radiant glow that I'm after. Okay, so now my skin is all prepped for makeup, I'm going to go in with foundation. Um, you can probably all guess which one I'm going to use. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is in the shade NC15. Um, and I just put a little bit onto the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and dampen it using my MAC Fix Plus Spray. And then just dot the foundation onto my skin. And I'm just going to quickly roughly blend out the foundation with a Zoeva brush. And then I go in with my Beauty Blender just to make sure it's all blended really nicely. I'm going to try my hardest not to get makeup on this dressing gown because obviously it's white and I am really really good at getting my dressing gowns covered in makeup usually um, so I'm going to try not to get anything on this one. Okay next up I'm going to go in with some concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Again just pop a little bit onto the back of my hand um, and take my beauty blender and just dab that onto any areas on my skin where I want a little bit more coverage. Um, I tend to get really red cheeks throughout the day so I like to add a little bit of coverage there and then I also just put a little bit on my nose. Okay so once I'm happy with my skin I'm then going to move on to eyebrows because it's just the step I always do next. So if you watch my videos regularly you'll know that I only ever use one product on my eyebrows and that's the Soap and Glory Brow Archery but today I'm using something different. I know. Um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and this is in the shade Taupe. So on one end you get a little brush so I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows and then I'm just going to go in with the other end so it's just like a little kind of waxy pencil I guess and I'm just going to brush through those just to darken them up a little bit. Can you guys be quiet please? 
my gerbils have decided to be really noisy and start biting the bars of their cage. So if you can hear them, I do apologise. Okay, and then don't worry, I'm not just going to use this, I am going to go in with my Soap and Glory pencil and I'm just going to take the felt tip side um, and I'm going to work it through the fronts of my eyebrows just to give a little bit more of a natural look. So I just kind of square those off at the front and then tidy up the rest of my eyebrows. And that is eyebrows done. I'm now going to move on to eyes. So I've got something super exciting to share with you guys. Um, I don't think I've used it in a video before. Well, I definitely haven't used it since I've finished it anyway. Um, but this is my MAC eyeshadow palette. So I've been putting this together for the last couple of months. And I have finally finished it. And I'm so excited to share it with everybody. So this is my MAC palette. I've put this together myself. I've bought every single shade individually. And put it in the palette. And as you guys can tell... There's a bit of a theme with the kind of colours that I tend to wear. Um, so I'm going to make a little eye look using these colours. The first shade I'm going to go in with is this one up here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because I can't remember all of the colours, I'm going to write each shade on the screen as I do my eyes. Because the shades are on the back of the eyeshadows and I have to get them out of the palette to do that. So I will write the names of all of the shades I'm using on the screen as I'm using them. Um, I'm going to go in with a Zoeva Luxe crease brush and just take this shade here. And I'm going to pop that all over my eyelid just to create a base. Just kind of blanks anything out, any veins. And just makes it a little bit easier to put other eyeshadows on top of. I'm going to go in with a matte dark brownie colour. It's kind of a little bit mauvey as well. Um, and I'm going to pop that in the crease of my eye. Just to start darkening it up a little bit. And then I'm going to grab a blending brush and just keep blending as I go along. I then want to take a little bit of a darker shade um, and I'm going to pop that into the crease as well just to give it a little bit more depth and then I'm going to take a flat brush and go in with that same dark brown and just drag that underneath my lower lash line and then just blend it out using my finger and then I'm going to go in using my fingertips and I'm going to go in with a really gorgeous pinky orange metallic shade and I'm going to push that onto the centre of my eyelid and just keep building that up until I'm happy with the colour. It is raining so loudly outside. I'm going to take a really gorgeous coppery colour and I'm just going to pop that over the top just to kind of bring out the copper tones. And then I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and I'm going to take a bright orange shade and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath. Okay, next step is to take a little bit more concealer, um, just take a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go in with a little brush, where's it gone? It's the Zoeva Luxe Brow Light Brush and I'm going to take some of that concealer and I'm literally going to drag it underneath my eye and I'm going to sharpen up the eyeshadow and then just push that in using my finger just make it a little bit more squared off in the corner okay so once I've finished my eyes I'm then going to curl my eyelashes and pop some mascara on So the mascara I've been loving recently is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I know I use it in basically every video, but I just love it so much. Um, and I'm just going to layer that up on my lashes. I'm going to pop a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten a little bit and just to make the look a little bit more tidy. And then I'm going to set that down using some of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light, um, just a setting powder and just pop that underneath just to make sure it's not going to crease throughout the day. 
Okay, next up is time to bronze up my skin because I'm looking extremely pale. Um, I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory Solar Powder and a huge fluffy brush and just swirling that around the two colours and then just bronzing up the whole of my face. Okay, then once my skin is looking a little bit warmer, I'm going to take my Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder and I'm just going to pop a little bit of this into the hollows of my cheekbones. Just to make it a little bit more defined. I'm going to be using some of the Rosie for Autograph Highlighter. This stuff is my absolute favourite. I'm using a fan brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to be popping some of that onto my cheekbones. And then I also just take a little bit of that on the tip of my nose and along my cupid's bow and then I go back in with my blending eyeshadow brush and pop some of that on the inner corners of my eyes. Okay so it's now time for lipstick. I'm going to be using Max Spirit lipstick which is a satin finish um, because then I'm going to be showing you guys something really cool that I got sent so I'll pop this on first and then I'll talk about the other product. Okay, so now I've put my lipstick on, um, I can show you guys the other product I wanted to speak about. So um, I actually got sent this from the brand Saturated Colour and it's called Make Me Matte and it's basically a lipstick that you can put on top of any other lipstick to make it matte finish. Um, so you open it up and it literally just looks like a lipstick itself. So I'm going to try it out today for the first time. God, it has actually worked. Okay, so I don't know why, but I wasn't actually expecting it to work, um, but it actually has. It's made my lips feel completely matte. It's taken away all of the shine of the lipstick, and it hasn't actually taken the lipstick off of my lips, which I'm really impressed with. I don't know why, but I thought it was just going to remove the lipstick and just be a bit rubbish, but actually, this has done an amazing job. It has made the lipstick completely matte, um, so I'm really impressed with this, and I think this is such a great thing to have, just because if you buy a lipstick and it's maybe got like a satin finish or a bit of a glossy a finish thing you'd prefer and maybe you like all of your lipsticks to be matte you can literally just put this on top and you've got a whole new lipstick I think that's amazing I'll leave a link down below um, to where you can get this one from but definitely check it out if you're a fan of matte lipsticks okay so the last step of my makeup routine is just to set everything in place and recently I've been using the uh, makeup fixing mist by pixie so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shake and then spritz that onto my skin Okay, so now my makeup is all finished, I'm going to move on to hair. Um, the hairstyle I've been wearing recently is so quick, so simple. I literally just put some curls in it. That's all I do. I just use GHD straighteners and put some curls in it. So I'm just going to take down what I've got now. And it's going to be in a massive mess. So I apologise in advance. It's because I've had it in a bun. If ever I put my hair in a bun, it just goes mental. So prepare yourselves so these are the GHDs I'm going to be using today um, they are the ones that GHD actually sent me a couple of months ago and I love them so much so I'm just going to wait for these to heat up and then I will show you guys what I do there we go they've heated up um, it's literally so simple I just start by grabbing sections of my hair um, and I make sure they're not too small or too big and I make sure that the root is straight because my hair goes a bit funny at the roots so I just straighten the roots and then I'm going to take this section of hair and I'm just going to curl with the straighteners away from my face and it just creates a little bit of a wave like that I always curl away from my face I just feel like that curl looks a little bit more natural and um, so I'm just going to curl like that and then the, t the curls are quite tight right now but they do drop out over the course of the day and if your hair's like mine and nothing really holds in it they've pretty much dropped out within like the first hour um, and then you're just left with like a really nice loose curl so I'm literally just going to go all over and make sure that every piece of my hair has got a little bit of a wave to it So some days I like to go all out and basically curl the whole of my head in really tight curls, 
but days like today I think sometimes it's nice to just leave it quite natural looking um, and as long as there's a few curls in there for texture it doesn't really matter if you haven't done all of it so I think I'm gonna say that I'm almost done and then I just kind of bring it all forward give it a little zhuzh with my fingers and then I usually tuck one side behind my ear I don't really know why I do it I just feel like having it all around my face can be a little bit too much sometimes so I like to do that and then I would usually just pop a little bit of hairspray in it if I was going out anywhere um, but I'm not going out anywhere today so I'm just going to leave it like this um, but yeah that is literally how simple it is and that is what I basically do to my hair every single day so that is the end of my get ready with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Any information you need to know will be linked down below or I will have popped shades and stuff like that on the screen. Um, but yeah, I really hope that the video was helpful to you in some way and please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in a few days with another video. Goodbye.